Chitu Fahadans here for another post processing chop shop. I received some questions about cropping in post, which is a necessary tool if your camera shoots 16x9 and you want full control over your aspect ratio, and also if you're using too wide of a lens and you have massive black edges on the frame that you need to get rid of. Uh, I'll go over After Effects and Premiere, which are the ones I use on my daily life, and I'm pretty sure the idea translates to any other compositing or editing software. Building up on the previous video, the aspect ratio, load up After Effects, import your footage and apply the proper stretch. Check the tutorial if you're not sure how to do that. Then, create your composition with the desired aspect ratio. To find the proper height, divide the horizontal resolution by the aspect ratio. Check here some examples for HD footage. Now drag the footage over to the composition, right click its layer, go to transform and select scale to comp height. And voila! The coolest thing about this method is you can use the horizontal position attribute in keyframes to create digital pans and adjust the framing as you please. In Premiere, the process is quite similar, but with a few more steps. Import your footage, apply the stretch, and then drag it to a new sequence. Now, right click the sequence on the Project tab and select Sequence Settings. Here, you change the height based on your project's output. As I'm doing HD, I'll just input 1920 by 800. Now the clip is too tall. So right click on it in the sequence and select set to frame size. That will adjust the dimension of the clip so it fits properly. Now move back to the project tab and right click on the sequence again since it's still super wide. On the pixel aspect ratio drop down menu, select square pixels and then press OK. You can do the digital pan in Premiere too, but it's less, uh, but it's a less friendly process. On the Effects tab, under Motion, adjust the horizontal position to the place you think you want to start your movement. Create a keyframe by clicking on the little stopwatch. Then, move on the timeline to the point where you want the pan to end, and adjust the horizontal position to its final position and Premiere automatically creates a keyframe there. There you go! A few simple steps to control your final aspect ratio. I hope you found this tutorial useful and let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos and then head on to the blog for the Anamorphic on a Budget guide and lots of cool stuff such as the Anamorphic calculator and my pitch for the Anamorphic cookbook. I also have an awesome t-shirt in the works so uh, grab yours now before the stock runs out. See you soon. Bye-bye.